Hello everybody, my name is Kai, this is Kai Likes Linux, and let's talk about the desk. A new desktop environment that I have discovered just today. Uh, it's made by Vicker123, which is the person who developed the shell. His original desktop environment. Now, I was just browsing around the Alice server, which if you don't know what Alice is, I'll have an entire video dedicated to that coming out relatively soon. But... I was playing around, but I asked him, is the shell getting new updates? And he said, no, he's working on a new desktop environment called the desk. So this is the desk, a wonderfully simplistic uh, thing. However, it does have a lot of issues and there is going to be a lot of uh, constructive criticism in this video, mostly because there is a lot of bugs to deal with when running this admittedly early access software. This is not production-ready software, so don't give him slack for building a quote-unquote bad desktop environment. He is trying, he is doing a great job, but the desk is quite obviously not ready, basically. Now, I wouldn't call it as bad as, like, KDE. KDE, for those who don't know, I despise because it's given me so many headaches that I have almost had a stroke twice. So... I have not actually done too much with this desktop. Ooh, let's do this one. It's a very clean desktop environment in many ways, but the problem is, yeah, this. let's go with this background. Changing backgrounds is quite easy, and it's a nice little UI, um, a little clunky. I wish you could just, you. oh, you can use your scroll wheel, only to go one direction. That's strange. And when it, oh, okay. So it has to fully stop, that looks like. Okay, that's weird. This is all fine and dandy. This is a fine and dandy setup, but this is not the application I have a problem with. This part I do kind of have a problem with, mostly because this icon feels out of place, and I wish it just didn't get bigger. It getting bigger, yeah, well, fancy smancy animation-y, it doesn't make sense for a desktop environment and with the only application being, you know, th th this icon, even if we open, like, let's say, cheese. Oops, is it daisies? Oh, no, it's going to be one of those applications, isn't it? Ugh. So, a problem with uh, this desktop environment is that it is uh, quite uh, buggy, to say the least. Oh, God, how do I get rid of this? So, uh, there are problems, and we'll get into that in just a sec. Hold on, let me fix this. There will be times where you have to restart the application. The desk, of course, is very, very early access software from what I can tell. Oh, by the way, we are running this on Fedora. The instructions in the description down below on how to install this and test it for yourself will be for Fedora 33 specifically. enter my secret password that's not root and we're back to having this now ooh, it goes back to the original thing that's good I know some desktop environments uh, in early access that have trouble with this now this as you saw with the cheese application which I didn't expect to do that it's problematic sometimes but on other applications it's just fine maybe on some like let's say you know clocks with a saw with a slight amount of ugliness to it yeah that's problematic but at least it's not running gtk apps on kde in case you can't tell i hate kde so let's do that again but with an, a browser with a browser that i know how to mess with it oh by the way you can't as far as i can tell resize applications which sucks at least with Firefox, I can uh, do this, so, you know, that's great. But, uh, let's say we were to go to twitter.com uh, slash Kylex Linux. Hold on. Come on, keyboard. Come on. Uh, we will... Well, let's not worry about the keyboard not working. I guess. I don't know why the keyboard isn't working. It was working just fine a couple of minutes ago. Uh, and it's working just fine now. I see the light turn on and that's where my mouse is plugged in. So, you know, that's uh, nice. 
Again, this is a very, 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 very buggy desktop environment. Early access, and I would not at all, and I would, I mean this, not at all call this a finished product. And there's a lot of areas that show, like, you know, the Firefox application and the apparently lack of, oh, nope, it's working again now. That's uh, strange. So if we go to twitter.com slash Kai Likes Linux, uh, you will get nothing because I uh, moved it to Kai the CEO. <laughs> Kai, uh, I can't type. It works just fine as a browser, but as you can see, there's no X icon. Hmm, there's no X icon, eh? How do you close? Uh, oh, and by the way, if you click outside of here, it creates new tabs. I think that's a feature in Firefox in general, but I have no fucking clue. But I found out that if uh, you want to close Firefox completely, you could just close all of the tabs and it closes the application outright. Yeah, but that's great and all, but what about office document, office work? Let's do calc because this one has been fun. Because at sometimes it doesn't show me the actual calc. Cal cal um, at sometimes it does this. I don't know why it's doing that, but if we go back into it, we can. Uh, yeah, it works just fine. We can type things in the document. Uh, we can close and not save. Because uh, I don't want to save anything to this because this is my test machine. Test virtual machine, I should make that clear. Uh, let's exit LibreOffice because that's the only way to exit LibreOffice. Again, some applications don't get the X. Here, actually, what's this? I haven't found this yet. <laughs> Redshift, ooh. So I'm guessing this is where you actually do system settings. Okay, that's fair. Theme, accent color, dark, ooh. I want to go with pink. Change fonts and all that. Uh, radio button one, radio button two. That's fine. Users, guidelines with the mistake in it. Accessibility, plugins, recovery about, displays. Yeah, that's all fine. That's perfectly fine. That perfectly works. This is a perfectly functional thing. Uh, other than that, I don't think there's any other, uh, anything else to do with that. There's not much else to look in there. The actual desktop environment has some cool features. I especially like the change background thing. That is probably the coolest feature of this desktop so far. I wish there were desktop icons, but I'm assuming that will come in a future update. Oopsie daisies, what's that? Oh my god, I suck. So, it, like, let's say Firefox. Oopsie daisies. Oh my god. Moving applications can only be done by moving the actual, like, the page thing, which kind of sucks. I'm going to say files and boxes. There are, oh, and we should also do, I'm going to say LibreOffice Word, because I know these, uh, writer, I mean. Uh, oh, my God. As you can see, there's a couple of different ways you get in a, a, a thing. You either get it like, oh, why isn't it focusing? That's strange. Again, early, non-complete software, but you either get this ugly, ugly border that I really hate and these general GTK plain theme icons, or you get no border around it, but again, the same icons, or you don't get the X at all, or you get the X, but it doesn't look at that great and, and you can't resize the applications. The part that really annoys me is not being able to resize applications. Oh, no, that's not a resizing application thing. So I would say maybe the first thing to do is resizing applications. That is definitely, 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 definitely a must. This um, desktop environment ha has that as a must. You also really need to and there was, there's another X icon, which is completely different from the other three. I think there's also a, a desperate, desperate, desperate need for GTK styling. And thirdly, the last part that's of the desktop environment I don't like at all 
is this. Yes, it's great. It's wonderful ish, but you don't get the like you don't get uh, the icons in here. I want that to be a feature and I hope he adds that. But at the same time, I also don't want it to shrink down like this. This kind of doesn't look all that great. Like at least have like a smaller version of the icons come up on this side or something or get bigger when you hover over them. That would be okay, but like as it's set up right now where it's hidden, I really don't like that. And I would say fixed applications is probably the biggest thing because again, some of them don't even come with a uh, close button. Oh, and like clocks, you have to, you, you can't close them without, you know, a button and like you can't close them at all. Uh, and there's no right click options either, which is kind of tiring. So now we have rhythm box. Uh, can we right click this icon? Well, I like how it has rhythm box uh, application where it can like do this. That's pretty cool. But fix this. I would say change a lot of the defaults. Uh, the defaults are a bit of a problem as um, I believe. But otherwise this desktop environment for early access. What did he say? Like uh, something point one or whatever i don't know but the desktop environment is overall kind of buggy kind of uh weird to work with and a lot of the theming the theming just doesn't match sometimes this looks ugly this looks fugly and like the icons have no similarity between them like there's a lot of issues with this desktop environment there really is. But again, I have to make it abundantly clear. This is not software that is ready for production. Uh, so, you know what? I would say solid. Oh, God, I haven't opened the terminal yet. At least we can close the window. I would say a solid 7, 8 out of 10 for early access software. If I were to rate the, for early access software, I would say 8 out of 10. It's going the right direction. But would I recommend you use this? Absolutely not yet. I would give this maybe another year, maybe two in development, before I could even say whether or not this is uh, ready for production or even anything. Oh, another thing I dislike is the fact that you have to go here to end the session, but that's a bit of a nitpick. Overall, I hope you like my ranting. I hope you didn't find this boring. And hopefully you found something new that you might want to try out, give bug fixes to, and maybe even contribute to, as I believe this is open source software. I don't quote me on that. I don't know Vicar123. Who knows? This might be completely proprietary with a bunch of spyware in it. I don't know. But anyways, my name's been Kai. This was me liking Linux. I don't know what this outro is, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's end the session. Um, let's just end, I guess. <laughs> and have a wonderful, wonderful day.